All right, guys, just like I promised, I went and picked up an engine for the 300ZX. Um, I think I got a fairly decent deal, but in this video right here, we're gonna get this thing cleaned up and get it ready to actually drop down into the 300ZX. So let's get to it. But yeah, um, we're gonna get the engine cleaned up. I think that's probably like the worst thing you can do is like to put an engine in a car and not just do the basic bare minimal maintenance stuff and cleaning it up. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. I'm gonna show you guys my process and where I get the stuff I use and all that good stuff. But um, the engine only, only has like 130,000 miles on it. It looks like the timing and water pump and all that stuff was replaced. So I think we're gonna have a good engine. At least, fingers crossed. Um, I did get a video of it running. It looked like it came out of a fairly decent car, like a car that someone actually loved and cared about. Um, a tree just ended up fell, you know, falling on the car during the storm and everything. So it's unfortunate, but you know, the parts are going back to make another car whole. So it counts for something, I guess. <laughs> but I always run to the Dollar General. And uh, you know, this stuff seems to work good for me, but I'll show you guys what I'm gonna use. But. I always run to the Dollar General because like, once you use this stuff, it's not going to be good for anything. But you can get these little toilet brushes. They're like a buck. You know, kind of help you get in there and like scrub all the stuff loose and all that good stuff. <clears throat> and I just get like oven cleaner. I think this can is like $3.50. And they also have like, you know, the most, you know, engine degreaser. This is like $4.50. And of course, this stuff, which is like $3. So we're gonna give them a shot and see which one works the best. But the engine's in really good shape. Like, so we got a valve cover leak right there. I'm definitely gonna replace the valve cover gaskets because right now that would be easy to do. Once you put it in the car, it's gonna be a nightmare. And it looks like it recently had a clutch installed. So, yeah, I think we're going to have a good one. But you can see that it's just kind of leaking a little bit. I might do an EGR leak. I'm not sure yet. But I also picked up a transmission just because it's relatively low miles when you consider the year of the car. So, it's only 130,000, 135,000 miles. So. And we also got a set of wheels. <clears throat> So, not too bad. Like I said, I paid uh, 1500 for all that stuff. So, it's definitely more than I would want to pay for, a, you know, a, an old Nissan V6, but it's just gonna be the cheapest way to get the car on the road and running, so. I think it'll work out. All right, enough of me rambling. Let's get this thing cleaned up. Let's try the cheapest first. Uh-oh. And of course, I'm gonna spray this stuff off with water, but just want to see what we get it's kind of got like a, a nice little foaming action to it let's try not to like wash all the grease out of that throw berry <laughs> Probably want to be wearing gloves when you do this too. So, maybe it'll help knock off some of that corrosion. <laughs> Not too worried about getting water in any of this stuff. I'm not gonna get enough in it to actually hurt anything. And plus it's all gonna go in the car and be running very soon and fluids change and all that good stuff. So 
Don't freak out, guys. It'll be okay, I promise. All right. Go ahead and get right there where that good, good leak is. Yeah, a little bit in the power steering pump. It's not going to hurt, right? I don't think getting stuff wet really hurts it. Letting it sit wet, probably not a good idea. All right, now we got this thing all covered. Kind of agitate some of the bad stuff. That stuff is kind of thick. <laughs> so, might take a couple times to get all that crud out of there. Since I'm going to be the one working on this thing, might as well make it clean. And like leave one clean for like, or I always get two of these brushes just for like the not so dirty areas. Kind of agitated a little bit. <clears throat> Probably end up painting this intake when I have it off. Let me finish doing a little bit of scrubbing and we'll spray this thing off and show you guys what it looks like. You can already tell but it's gonna look a whole lot better. Alright, it, it cleaned up okay. Not not perfect, but like I said, it's a 30-year-old engine, so it's just gonna make putting the engine in the car and working on the engine a whole lot better because that's not gonna be as grimy and dirty. So. Transmission still looks like crap though. Some of this stuff is pretty pretty chunky, whatever you want to say. Looks like this car was somewhere where he got a lot of a lot of salt on the roads. It's pretty it's pretty rough. What do you think, Dino? You don't care. Definitely think I prefer this stuff right here. We're pretty good. Actually, foams up and sticks to the engine. But yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, probably in the next video, we'll start pulling the engine out of the car and uh, go ahead and get the engine dressed up and get it set in there and go ahead and try to fire it up and see if it's gonna run. But, probably going to do that kind of, you know, on my time off at work. So, um, we'll see. I think I can do it. I got like five days to get it done. I figure a couple hours a day, I should be able to get it knocked out. Alright guys, appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next one.